वेलकम स्टूडेंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी क्रोमोजोम इन आवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्रोमोजोम देन साइंस एंड कंपोजिशन ऑफ क्रोमोजोम देन फंक्शन ऑफ क्रोमोजोम एंड द नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम दैट इज क्लोइ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम देन टाइप्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम एंड द सेक्स क्रोमोजोम See here. Here, three diagrams are there. Diagram first, which shows the interface. Second diagram shows the prophase, and third diagram shows the metaphase of the cell division. As we know that the interface, which we call it as a, a preparatory phase, in which the chromosomes are in the form of thread-like chromatin. here the chromosomes are in the form of a chromatin and we know that the chromatins are the thread like structure uh, in which dnas are coiled or wrapped around the histone proteins get it so in interface the chromosomes are in a thread like structure then when the cell uh, enters into the prophase the chromosomes appears condensed that means this chromatin material now uh, starting to coil and it be become condensed so in prophase the chromosome appears condensed then the cell enters into the metaphase in a metaphase a thick coiled chromosomes are lined up in the center of the cell here in the metaphase we can see the chromosome bundles very clearly okay get it so in a metaphase we can see the chromosomes very clearly now let us see the structure of chromosome the structure of chromosome is best studied at the metaphase when chromosome is clearly seen then a chromosome has generally eight parts here eight parts are listed centromere chromatids chromatin secondary constriction telomere chromomere chromonema and matrix first of all see this is the basic structure of chromosome this is the basic structure of chromosome this is the duplicated chromosome it is duplicated chromosome see here here we can see a single strand but here duplicate strands are seen these duplicate strands are called as the sister chromatid here is the second one chromatid so these duplicate strands of the chromosomes are called as the sister chromatids now these sister chromatids are attached with each other by a structure that structure is called as centromere so first part centromere second part these two chromatids then the chromatin chromatin is the this material or compact condensed material is the chromatin then second constriction in some chromosomes there are more than one constriction and that uh, constrictions are called as the second constriction this second constriction and this second constriction then telomeres the terminal part of the chromosome strand are called as the telomere then the chromomeres these bead like structures bead like structures are called as the chromomeres and chromonema the bead like structure arranged on the chromonema these lines these lines are the chromonema and the matrix the jelly like fluid in which the chromatin fibers are 
arranged that jelly like structure or jelly like material is called as the matrix so we will discuss it in detail first of all the centromere centromere is the very important part of the chromosome it is very important part of the chromosome why because it helps the two sister chromatids with each other and at the time of anaphase when chromosomes moves towards the pole centromere plays an important role okay centromere means kind centromere means primary constriction see here this is the centromere it is primary constriction to which the chromatids or spindle fibers are attached and to the centromeres two chromatid fibers uh, sorry two uh, sister chromatids are attached and at the time of the cell division spindle fibers also attached to centromere so what is the function of centromere centromere helps the sister chromatids then the uh, spindle fibers attaches to the centromere at the time of cell division get it so read here centromere it is a primary constriction at the center to which the chromatids or spindle fibers are attached its function is to enable movement of the chromosome during anaphase stage of the cell division get it so centromere is the important part of the chromosome here at the centromere two uh, chromatid or sister chromatids attach to each other and at the time of the anaphase the spindle fibers also attach to the centromere and which uh, allows the chromosome or chromatids to separate from each other or to move the chromosome get it then the chromatids during the cell division chromosome is divided into two identical half strand joined by a centromere see here this is the basic structure of chromosome when it divides during the cell division it converted into two strand or two duplicate copies of each other and that duplicated copies are called as the sister chromatids and these sister chromatids are attached with each other by centromere okay during cell division a chromosome is divided into two identical half strands joined by a centromere a chromatid is each half of each half of the chromosome join these are the half of the chromosome each chromatid is each half of the chromosome each chromatid contains dna and separates at anaphase to form a separate chromosome the chromatids consist of a dna and at the time of anaphase these chromatids separate from each other and they forms a new chromosome both chromatids are attached to each other by the centromere okay so get it centromere central part chromatid that is two identical half of the chromosome then the chromatin as we knew that chromatin is the dispersed form of the chromosome which we can see in the interface so chromatin it is a complex of dna and protein that forms the chromosome within the nucleus of eukaryotic cells nuclear dna is highly condensed and wrapped around the nuclear protein in order to fit inside the nucleus in other words it is not present as a free linear strands the chromatin consist of dna rna and protein okay chromatin kay aplyala lakshat alelas hai ki interphase madhe je kahi dna ahe nucleus madla dna te dna and proteins they are arranged very uh, dispersed form ekdam dispersed form form madhe agdi mesh like thread like structure je dna cha asto tala apan chromatin mhanto right pan nucleus madhe properly tala fit honyasathi 
DNA काय होत cell division during the cell division after the interphase when it enters into the M phase that DNA started to coil around the histone protein that protein is called as the nuclear protein when it coils and super coils then it becomes the chromatin it becomes the chromatin fiber and after the chromatin when chromatin get condensed it converted to the uh, this structure that is structure of a chromosome so get it again the composition of the chromatin is the dna rna and histone and non histone protein so here we have completed the centromere chromatid chromatin so you can now distinguish between the chromatid and chromatin chromatin is the thread like structure which is present in an uh, interface chromatids are the identical half of the chromosome get it then the second constriction it is generally present for the nucleolar organization in this figure you can see the secondary constriction first and secondary constriction second okay then the telomere telomere is the terminal region of each side of the chromosome okay telomere is the terminal region of the chromosome terminal region of the chromosome is called as the telomere then chromonema it is a thread like coil filamentous structure along which the chromomeres are arranged chromonema controls the size of chromosome and it act as a site of gene bearing i have shown you these lines these lines are called as the chromonema these are the thread like coiled filamentous structure this is a thread like coiled and filamentous structure which is arranged along with the chromomeres okay so this is the chromonema then the chromomeres chromomeres are the bead like structure here on the chromonema bead like structures are arranged these bead like structures are called as the chromomeres so read here chromomeres these are the bead like structure present on the threads of chromonema these are arranged in a row along the length of chromonema the number of chromosome is constant and it is responsible for carrying the genes during the cell division to the next generation okay get it and the last is the matrix it is a pellicle in the membrane surrounding each of the chromosome matrix is the jelly like substance present inside the pellicle it is form of non genetic material matrix is a fluid like or a jelly like structure and it is a non genetic material in the chromosome get it here we have completed the structure of chromosome in a structure of chromosome we have seen the centromere that is the central part of the chromosome then sister chromatids these are identical half of the chromosome then uh, chromatin okay chromatin which is uh, uncoiled form of the chromosome is the chromatin then secondary constrictions then telomere that is the terminal part chromonema it is a thread like structure chromomeres the bead like structure which are present on the chromonema and last one is the matrix now the types of chromosomes there are various types of chromosome we can classify them as the types of chromosome based on the position of chromosome types of chromosome based on the function of chromosome and types of the chromosome based on the number of centromeres first of all we will see the types of chromosome based on the position of the centromere basically based on the position of centromere there are four types of chromosome these are 
फिलोसेंट्रिक एक्रोसेंट्रिक सब मेटासेंट्रिक एंड मेटासेंट्रिक नाउ टीलोसेंट्रिक एज वी न्यू द मीनिंग ऑफ टीलो दैट इज टर्मिनल टीलो मीन्स टर्मिनल सो वेन द सेंट्रोमेयर इज एट द टर्मिनल रीजन ऑफ द क्रोमोजोम देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज द टीलोसेंट्रिक ओके टीलोसेंट्रिक इट इज अ जे शेप्ड सॉरी इट इज अ आय शेप्ड रॉड लाइक क्रोमोजोम विथ सेंट्रोमेयर प्रेजेंट ऑन द प्रॉक्सिमल एंड और अ टर्मिनल एंड एंड नो पी आम इज प्रेजेंट टीलोमेरिक chromosomes are not found in the humans okay students telocentric manje ka hai ki jevha centromere jo hai to terminal part varti kiwa proximal end la asto tya vele tya chromosome la apan kay mhanto telocentric chromosome now in a telocentric chromosome there is a no p arm ata p arm manje ka hai jevha apan ek simple chromosome cha structure pahato सिंपल हिंदे कि जनरली का सेंटर मध्य सेंट्रोमेर आतो आफ्स है राइट दोन आर्म्स अपने पहाय मिलता तो हा जो कहीं आर्म है दैट इज शॉर्ट आर्म इज पी आर्म एंड लॉन्ग आर्म इज क्यू आर ठीक है मग टीलोसेंट्रिक क्रोमोजोम मध्य पी आर्म न कारण क्रोमोजोम या टर्मिनल पार्टला सेंट्रोमेर आयाम केवल एक आर्म है ओके लक्षा ये सो टीलोसेंट्रिक इज अ रॉडलाइक क्रोमोजोम विथ सेंट्रोमेर प्रेजेंट ऑन द प्रॉक्सिमल एंड ऑर अ टर्मिनल एंड एंड इट डजंट हैव द पी आर एंड मोर ओवर दीज टीलोमेरिक और टीलोसेंट्रिक क्रोमोजोम्स आर अबसेंट इन ह्यूमन्स ह्यूमन बीइंग्स मध्य टीलोसेंट्रिक कि टीलोमेरिक क्रोमोजोम्स जे हैं अबसेंट आता गेट इट सो जस्ट कीप इन माइंड न टीलोसेंट्रिक सेंट क्रोमोजोम सेंट्रोमेयर्स आर एट द प्रॉक्सिमल एंड देन एक्रोसेंट्रिक एक्रोसेंट्रिक सीयर दैट इज इट इज नियर टू द प्रॉक्सिमल एंड it is near to the proximal end when the centromere is near to the proximal end then it is called as the acrocentric so right read acrocentric rod likes and centromere present at one end giving rise to one very short arm and an exceptionally long arm an acrocentric centromere is near to the proximal end or a terminal end so it divides the chromosome into two arms in which one is very short arm the upper arm c here the upper arms are very short and the lower arms are exceptionally long so get it the acrocentric chromosomes are the chromosome in which the centromeres are near to the proximal end or near to the terminal end then sub metacentric sub metacentric see here the diagram of sub metacentric when the centromere is near to the center it is near to the center not in a center but near to the center then it is called as a sub metacentric sub metacentric is a l shaped with centromere near the center of the chromosome giving rise to two unequal arms hence the centromere is not at the center but it is near to the center so it again gives rise to two arms which are unequal they are unequal so this is the sub metacentric and last one is the metacentric see here this is the metacentric chromosome in a metacentric chromosome the centromeres are at the center and they gives rise to about equal arms so v shaped chromosome with the centromere in a middle giving rise to two equal arms 
so student on the basis of the position of a centromere there are four types of chromosomes telocentric where centromeres are at the terminal or pro proximal end acrocentric where the centromeres are near to the terminal end or proximal end submetacentric are the chromosome in which the centromeres are near to the center and metacentric in which the centromeres are in the center of a chromosome get it vidyarthi mitranno पोजिशन सेंट्रोमेयर क्रोमोजोम कुछ पार्ट मधे सिचुएटेड है तरह क्रोमोजोम्स के चार पार्ट होता टीलोसेंट्रिक जिथे कि सेंट्रोमेयर क्रोमोजोम एंडला सिचुएटेड आतोन टीलोसेंट्रिक मन तो टीलोसेंट्रिक कि टीलोमेरिक जे क्रोमोजोम्स हैं तो ह्यूमन बीइंग्स मधे अपने पहाय मिलत नहीं ऐक्रोसेंट्रिक क्रोमोजोम मधे जो सेंट्रोमेयर है इट इज निर टू द प्रॉक्सिमल एंड अर्थात सेंट्रोमेयर प्रॉक्सिमल एंड कि टर्मिनल एंड ऐसी जवर आतो सो इट इज अक्रोसेंट्रिक सबमेटासेंट्रिक सबमेटासेंट्रिक क्रोमोजोम मधे सेंट्रोमेयर जो है तो निर टू द सेंटर दैट मीन्स क्रोमोजोम ऐसी सेंटर जवर सिचुएटेड आतो मन अपन सबमेटासेंट्रिक मन दो एंड लास्ट वन इज द मेटासेंट्रिक इन विच द सेंट्रोमेयर इज सिटेड एट द सेंटर सेंट्रोमेयर जो है तो क्रोमोजोम सेंटर मध्य सिचुएटेड आतो मन आप मेटासेंट्रिक मन तो सो दीज आर द टाइप्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स बेस्ड ऑन द पोजिशन ऑफ सेंट्रोमेयर नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम बेस्ड ऑन द फंक्शन बेस्ड ऑन द फंक्शन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम वन इज द ऑटोजोम्स एंड सेकेंड वन इज द ऑलोजोम्स और सेक्स क्रोमोजोम ओके क्रोमोजोम च फंक्शन का बेसिस वरती क्रोमोजोम दोन प्रकार है। एक तो ऑटोजोम दुसरा ऑलोजोम कि सेक्स क्रोमोजोम बेसिकली ऑलोजोम कि सेक्स क्रोमोजोम क्रोमोजोम विच आर यूजफुल इन डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ सेक्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गैनिजम एखाद ऑर्गैनिजम च जेन्डर जे क्रोमोजोम्स रिकग्नाइज करता कि डिटर्माइन करता क्रोमोजोम्स सेक्स क्रोमोजोम और ऑलोजोम विरुद्ध ऑटोजोम्स जे क्रोमोजोम्स एक ऑर्गैनिजम सेक्स डिटर्माइन करना मध्य हेल्पफुल नहीं है कि जे ऑर्गैनिजम सेक्स डिटर्माइन कर अशा क्रोमोजोम्स ऑटोजोम्स मन तो ऑटोजोम्स डिटर्माइन्स दी वेरियस बॉडी कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गैनिजम गेट इट सोमैटिक कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गैनिजम so on the basis of the function of chromosome there are two types of chromosome one is the autosome and second one is the allosome allosome are also called as the sex chromosome sex chromosome determines the sex of an organism and autosome they does not determine the sex of an organism they determines the other body characters or as somatic characters of an organism then based on the number of centromeres there are again four types of chromosome okay centromeres ch numbers kiwa chromosome madhe kiti centromeres ahet tyacha basis varti dekhil chromosomes ch pudhe char prakar sangitle gele one is the monocentric mono means a single when there is a single centromere it is called as the monocentric holocentric holo means many so when in the chromosome there are many centromeres are present then it is called as the holocentric acentric acentric means there is absence of the centromere when there is a no centromere is present on the chromosome or absent of the chromosome then that kind of chromosome is called as the acentric chromosome dicentric means when the centromeres number is 2 in a chromosome there are two centromeres are present then that type of chromosome is called as dicentric now we will move towards the sex chromosome see here students sex chromosomes are also called as the allosomes and what is the function of a sex chromosome the sex chromosome determines the sex of an organism so the chromosome which are responsible for the determination of a sex are known as the sex chromosome in human being there are two sex chromosomes 
one is x and other is y. So, in human being, there are two sex chromosomes that is X chromosome and Y chromosome. X chromosome is straight, rod like and longer than the Y chromosome. You can see in a diagram that X chromosome is longer than the Y chromosome. Then X chromosome is metacentric because centromere is at the center while the Y chromosome is acrocentric because centromere is near to the proximal end. Then X chromosome has large amount of euchromatin and small amount of heterochromatin. Now what is the euchromatin and heterochromatin? Euchromatin means a region in which DNA is abundant when DNA is more and proteins are less then that region is called as the euchromatin. Get it? So in X chromosome euchromatin is more than the heterochromatin and in X chromosome euchromatin is more it has large amount of DNA so it is genetically active because it consists of more amount of DNA and genes so it is a genetically active Why Y chromosome has small amount of euchromatin and large amount of the heterochromatin hence it is genetically less active or inert both the X and Y chromosome shows the homologous region and non-homologous region now what is the homologous region that is identical region is called as the homologous region. So X and Y chromosome both shows the homologous region as well as they shows the non-homologous region. Homologous region shows the similar gene while non-homologous region shows the dissimilar genes. Homologous region shows the similar genes and non-homologous region shows the dissimilar genes. Then the crossing over occurs only between the homologous region of X and Y chromosome. The concept of crossing over we will discuss in next lecture but just keep it in mind that crossing over occurs between the homologous region of the X and Y chromosome. Non-homologous region of X chromosome is larger than the Y chromosome. Then it con uh, contains more genes than the non-homologous region of Y chromosome. X non-homologous region of X chromosome is longer than the Y chromosome. It consists of more genes. Obviously, the length of the uh, non-homologous region of X chromosome is more. So, it consists of more genes. Y non-homologous region of Y chromosome is uh, smaller and it consists of less genes. Now the X-linked genes are present on the non-homologous region of X chromosome and Y-linked genes are present on the non-homologous region of Y chromosome. Okay. So student, human beings madhe basically jema apan sex chromosomes sa vichar karto tema human sex chromosomes sa vichar karto asto. So there are two types of sex chromosome. Don't Sex chromosomes are the one X chromosome and the other Y chromosome. So, we will do a little comparison. The X chromosome is longer than the Y chromosome. Then, type of a chromosome. X chromosome is a metacentric while Y chromosome is acrocentric. X chromosome is the Y chromosome. So, the X chromosome is centromere and the center is the center. So, मेटासेंट्रिक आहे आणि वाई क्रोमोसोम जो आहे तो एक्रोसेंट्रिक आहे कारण त्यांचा सेंट्रोमेर जो आहे तो नियर टू एंड किंवा नियर टू प्रॉक्सिमल एंड आहे त्याच्यानंतर एक्स क्रोमोसोम हॅज लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ यूक्रोमॅटिन अँड स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ हेटरोक्रोमॅटिन ओके वी न्यू दॅट दी यूक्रोमॅटिन यूक्रोमॅटिन म्हणजे काय की असा भाग ज्यामध्ये अधिक डीएनए and less amount of 
प्रोटीन असतं सो एक्स क्रोमोझोममध्ये युक्रोमॅटीन जास्ती आहे आणि हेटरोक्रोमॅटीन कमी आहे युक्रोमॅटीन जास्ती असल्यामुळे म्हणजे डी एन एचा अमाऊंट जास्ती असल्यामुळे एक्स क्रोमोझोम जो आहे तो जेनेटिकली ॲक्टिव्ह आहे कारण तिथे जास्ती जीन्स आहेत त्याच्यामुळे तो जेनेटिकली ॲक्टिव्ह आहे वाय वाय क्रोमोझोम हॅज लेस अमाऊंट ऑफ युक्रोमॅटीन अँड लार्ज अमाऊंट ऑफ हेटरोक्रोमॅटीन सो वाय क्रोमोझोम इज जेनेटिकली इनर्ट सो जेनेटिकली वाय क्रोमोझोम इनर्ट का आहे कारण त्याच्यामध्ये युक्रोमॅटीन कमी आणि हेटरोक्रोमॅटीन जो आहे तो जास्ती आहे त्याच्यानंतर एक्स आणि वाय क्रोमोझोमचं आपण स्ट्रक्चर जर पाहिलं तर एक्स अँड वाय क्रोमोझोम शोज बोथ होमोलॉगस अँड नॉन होमोलॉगस रिजन ओके जो सेम आयडेंटिकल लोअर पार्ट आहे दॅट इज द होमोलॉगस रिजन ऑफ एक्स अँड वाय क्रोमोझोम वाय नॉन आयडेंटिकल किंवा वेगवेगळा जो पार्ट आपल्याला दिसतोय तो आहे अप्पर पार्ट दॅट इज नॉन होमोलॉगस रिजन ऑफ द एक्स अँड वाय क्रोमोझोम ना जो काही नॉन होमोलॉगस रिजन ऑफ एक्स क्रोमोझोम आहे इट इज अ लॉंगर दॅन दी वाय क्रोमोझोम वाय क्रोमोझोमच्या नॉन होमोलॉगस रिजनपेक्षा एक्स क्रोमोझोमचा नॉन होमोलॉगस रिजन जो आहे तो लॉंग आहे आणि त्याच्यामुळे एक्स क्रोमोझोमच्या नॉन होमोलॉगस रिजनवरती जास्ती जीन असतात नॉन होमोलॉगस रिजन ऑफ वाय क्रोमोझोमपेक्षा गेट इट देन देअर इज पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ क्रॉसिंग ओवर बिट्वीन दी होमोलॉगस रिजन ऑफ एक्स अँड वाय क्रोमोझोम ओनली आणि क्रॉसिंग ओवर केवळ आणि केवळ एक्स आणि वाय क्रोमोझोमच्या होमोलॉगस रिजनमध्येच होण्याची शक्यता असते ओके सो वी विल डिस्कस द डिफरन्स बिट्वीन दी एक्स अँड वाय क्रोमोझोम नाव एक्स क्रोमोझोम डिटरमाइन्स द फिमेलनेस अँड वाय क्रोमोझोम डिटरमाइन्स दी मेलनेस आता जेव्हा तुम्ही ह्युमन कॅरिओटाईप पाहाल तो मी तुम्हाला प्रश्न दिलेलाच आहे की तुम्हाला त्याच्या संदर्भात माहिती शोधायची तर ह्युमन कॅरिओटाईपमध्ये फॉर्टी सिक्स क्रोमोझोम्स आहेत दॅट मीन्स ट्वेंटी थ्री पेअर्स ऑफ द क्रोमोझोम्स आर देअर इन अ ह्युमन कॅरिओटाईप इन विच ट्वेंटी टू पेअर्स आर ऑटोझोम्स अँड वन पेअर इज द सेक्स क्रोमोझोम 22 टू पेअर्स ऑफ ऑटोझोम्स म्हणजे चौवेचाळीस क्रोमोझोम्स जे आहेत ते ऑटोझोम्स आहेत आणि वन पेअर मीन्स ओनली टू क्रोमोझोम्स आर द सेक्स क्रोमोझोम्स वेन दॅट ट्वेंटी थर्ड पेअर इज ऑफ एक्स एक्स क्रोमोझोम देन दॅट ऑर्गॅनिझम इज अ फिमेल फिमेलमध्ये जो ट्वेंटी थर्ड सेक्स क्रोमोझोमचा पेअर आहे त्यामध्ये जर दोन्ही एक्स क्रोमोझोम असतील तर तो ऑर्गॅनिझम जो आहे तो फिमेल असेल आणि जर ऑर्गॅनिझमचा ट्वेंटी थर्ड पेअर ऑफ अ क्रोमोझोम कन्सिस्ट ऑफ एक्स अँड वाय देन दॅट ऑर्गॅनिझम इज अ मेल सो एक्स क्रोमोझोम शोज ऑर डिटरमाइन्स दी फिमेलनेस वाय वाय क्रोमोझोम डिटरमाइन्स दी मेलनेस देन अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्ट्रक्चर एक्स क्रोमोझोम इज लॉंगर दॅन दी वाय क्रोमोझोम then x chromosome is metacentric and y chromosome is acrocentric it is a x chromosome is a straight elongated and rod like while y chromosome is like a hook then it has longer non homologous part x chromosome has no longer non homologous part while y chromosome has short non homologous part then it is present in both male and female yes and y chromosome is present only in men karan female madhe apan kay sangitla x x chromosome ani male madhe x and y chromosome so x chromosome is present in man and uh, sorry in male and in female also but y chromosome is present only in male then it shows the straight inheritance and it shows the criss cross type of inheritance x chromosome shows the straight inheritance y y chromosome shows the criss cross type of inheritance which we will discuss in our upcoming videos so here we have completed the structure of chromosome then types of chromosome 
and the sex chromosome X and Y. Now, here are some questions for you. Differentiate X and Y chromosome with a diagram. Then explain the types of chromosome. Explain the structure of chromosome with neat label diagram and what is allosome. Again, collect the information about this concept. What is human karyotype? Collect information about human karyotype. Okay, get it. Thank you.